Alright, what's going on everybody? Blazer here coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection news update. And uh, of course, they're coming out with another origin unit a way oh well, like, oh, like, like, like what like a week or two after the fucking Sakura came out? Like god damn they dropping these origin units fast. And um a lot of you probably don't remember, but this art was um released really early on. I think it came out around the same time as um that uh nuking night guy the last one that just came out both their arts were released at the same time and this jiraiya's art was out too we thought that guy and jiraiya was going to come out at the same time but they didn't and um now they're coming out they use his art as a um origin unit's art and i'm pretty sure his ultimate is going to not his ultimate but his um first skill is going to pretty much look like him trapping um your unit inside that uh kind of that genjutsu um box thing he did on pain i can't remember exactly what it was called it was like a genjutsu they used and they trapped the uh pain with the long hair inside the box and it was like four frog four or three frogs surrounding the cube and then that's when jirai used this chance to stab him i can't remember exactly what the jutsu was called because it was so long ago but yeah that's think that's what i think that's what the first skill is gonna look like i'm not a hundred percent but uh yeah also the retweet rewards are here so you know make sure you guys retweet so we can get these stones and jirai is coming out tomorrow hype to that and also this um, event's coming out again, which is pretty much probably gonna give us the Kid Jiraiya, Kid Tsunade, and Kid Orochimaru. And it's pretty much gonna play through Jiraiya's life again, which is gonna give us an opportunity to get another Jiraiya gear. So uh, yeah, I pretty much beat these all every time they come out. So I have some very good Jiraiya gear, just no Jiraiya to put them on. So hopefully I can get this Jiraiya, and if not, oh well. Wouldn't be the first time I got nothing. Also, this banner's coming out between the 12th and the 22nd. I'm assuming this is going to be some big event between what Sasori's uh, puppet, I forgot what his puppet was called, and then Orochimaru. And it looks like it's going to be a first summon, it's going to be like 39 stones, so that's pretty cool. And also the event's going to be out around, some event for it's going to be around, around that time. Going to like you're going to be able to get some kind of Sasori gear and a Orochimaru snakes. I, wonder if, I feel like those snakes are already out though. I don't know. Also. Right now, PvP is currently out, so make sure you guys get your grind on and uh, get these tickets, get these rewards. Also, keep in mind, you get, um, was it 30, 35 stones, something like that. You get a nice amount of stones from grinding up 200,000 points in PvP. Also, some tickets to summon with and get some gear. So, keep that in mind when you're on the grind for PvP. If you're not one of those people who want to grind PvP heavy to get the... Um, you know top ranking rewards such as like first place or anything which i don't think most of your average player you know are gonna do it i mean i don't do it because i get that to a thousand points and i'm done those japanese players play like a thousand fucking matches i just i can't do it i can't be bothered i can't the highest i've ever scored was like in 200 something place and that i think that'll be the last time i scored that high that was a massive grind all right and here's the new jiraiya that's out your rochimaru's coming out and they don't have anything for the new sorcery, but here's a Rochimaru too. Here's the retweet rewards right here. You guys can see by each side corresponding to each side um, which rewards we're gonna get if we hit the certain thresholds. So let's get these retweets up. Now uh, let's go back to this Jiraiya because I have what he does right here. Thanks, shout out to Yuya for his translations. Always happy to have you in my Discord, man. Don't know where I would be without you. I know where I would be. I would be late and be behind shit. So thank you, Yuya. Um, his first skill is not his first skill, but his dry his name is Jiraiya, three sage challenging the six pass. His first skill is deal three percent plus hundred thousand to all enemies with a chance to reduce skill damage by 99% and inflict the toad confusion state. If the enemy is a destroyer, ignore resistance and guaranteed inflict the toad confusion state. In the toad confusion state, attack, crit, damage, and chance plus 500%. He'll remove all buffs and debuffs, status effects, and other special states other than the toad confusion confusion state and randomly attack all allies except self wow so he's kind of like she sweet in that sense where he buffs your attack and crit damage and then uh has you attack yourself hmm. and then he can remove the um any special state so i'm assuming it says since it says um any any special state he can um that's pretty cool all right I, I think I might actually go for this guy pretty heavy because I really need a good Jiraiya and I'm pretty sure that um Was that the birthday Jiraiya that just passed that I couldn't get and got shafted on? I think that was it the one that protects you against skill damage for leaf village units I think he'll probably be on the banner too So that'll be great because it says it removes any all debuffs buffs status effects and special states a special state other than the total confusion state so 
I don't know if it's just been like some special state, positive special state, negative special state, but I'm just, it, since it says special state, I'm just gonna assume that. But um, yeah, his second skill is uh, all enemies defense and speed minus 80% with a higher chance to inflict the Genjutsu. If there is a destroyer enemy, he'll grant the Hari Jizo state. Um, in the Hari Jizo state, when attacked by a skill, he'll deal 7% plus 300,000 to all in attacking enemies. He'll recover all the allies' HP and chakra except for this Jiraiya by 50%, and he'll buff all allies' attack, defense, and speed by 100%. Counterattack is not affected by resistance, so ignore resistance when it comes to counterattacks. And um, he's another counterattacking unit. I have no counterattacking unit, so I would like to get this Jiraiya simply based off the counterattacks. I want to take him in PvP and... Um, See what these counterattacks looking like because when I did that showcase for the um, kid Gara, I couldn't get his counterattack to go off because everybody was so slow and then it would just take forever. So hopefully in PvP I could take him in there and we could see what these uh, counterattacks looking like because I have a solid Leaf Village team. I know I got a pretty good Nun type team, so this is gonna be great. Um, let's scroll down some more. All right, his leader skill is uh, Konoha attack, crit damage, and chance plus 150%, which is great for the new guy. The new guy, remember, that came out, and he makes Madara and Itachi units useless. So he'll probably be annoying as fuck to run into PvP. And then, um, but then again, he'll be slow as shit if his leader skill is just Konoha attack and crit damage, chance up 150%. Then again, if you run his Jiraiya as a lead for that guy, he'll be slow. But he'll hit hard. I don't know, pick your poison. I rather have speed over the attack because I rather hit, you know, constantly than you know, hoping for one big attack because then by that time the enemy might have made themselves immune to skill damage. Um, ability one, speed plus 200%, and if there's an enemy, a Katsuki or a destroyer, additional 400% if both. Okay, cool. So, yeah, he kind of counters those heat on and well, I ain't gonna say he counters it because I mean I ain't gonna say it's counter it, but it, it helps with this. This first ability helps with that, uh, since they're both destroyers and a Koski unit, so he'll get that additional 400%. So if you run into any heat odds, keep in mind, you'll get that massive speed buff. Um, ability 2, when HP reaches 0, he'll withstand 5 attacks, skill damage plus 300%. After withstanding an attack, chance to recover all HP when attacked. Okay, cool. And his gear, he only has like one new gear, but he has a shit ton of gear, because he's been coming out um, a lot in the past, so he has a shit ton of gear out. So um, his only one gear is what Jiraiya's battle, Surco. Uh, start the battle with 50% chakra, and chakra cost minus 50%, and chakra recovery plus 30%. So this Jiraiya is uh, pretty solid, pretty solid. I might actually go in for him. I'm gonna grind PvP first. What I'm gonna do is, like I usually do when a banner comes out around PvP, I'm going to grind PvP to get the stones out of there, and then I'm gonna go buy stones. Because if I can get it off the free stones, then I can save money. You get what I'm saying, guys? You guys know what the fuck I'm saying. You guys, you guys understand. You know what I'm talking about. And also the glasses guy is here. I'll be sure to do this in a separate video. I was gonna do it for this video today, but since Jiraiya came out, I'm pretty sure more people care about Jiraiya than the glasses wearing guy. I forgot his fucking name. But um, I figured, I figured since more people care about Jiraiya, they'll uh, rather see that than some glasses wearing digger. Other than that, um, no other news to necessarily report on really. I think that's pretty much about it. Nothing else to really say about that. Make sure you grind Shikamaru in uh, the Asuma event. Get the um, five stones out of that. Uh, these level max banners are out. PvP is out. I'll be sure to do some PvP videos and some event videos, and then uh, we'll go from there. But uh, that's going to be it for this video right here, guys. You guys like this video? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that bullshit. This being your boy Blazehood.